Hi guys, welcome back to week 15. So it's hard to believe we already made it to week 15. This is our final uh, video session uh, for the end of the year. So uh, this will be it for 2020. Hopefully a lot of big changes, a lot of positive changes are on the horizon for next year. Uh, but I've had a lot of fun doing all these workouts with you guys. And I just want to make sure, um, you know, we are all super strong and healthy, ending our year. It's been a rough year for everybody. So hopefully you guys have uh, held out, worked out together. We're going to end this workout strong. So uh, today, um, doing a little mix, a lot of uh, stuff we've done in the past and mixing up uh, the organization a little bit. Uh, but I just want to say thanks again uh, for fun 15 weeks working out together. Uh, everybody have a great holiday. Try not to eat too many sweets. Uh, then you're just going to have to work out that much harder to burn them off. Uh, I know it's hard in the holidays, but uh, hopefully we will be working out again in the new year. So a little housekeeping out of the way. Uh, let's get right into it. So. I'm gonna do our warm up like usual, do jumping jacks, high knees, do mountain climbers, and ankle tabs. So we've been really honing in on those four, do 20 reps each. Let's get right into it. Oh, all right, 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, High knees. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right. Next up, mountain climbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, already feeling warm. One exercise left. We're gonna do our ankle taps. So Again, I'm tucking my chin, engaging our core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I am already feeling it. Uh, maybe it's because it worked out this week, but that was a faster pace than I usually take. So, oh, get right into our mobility, our stretching routine. We start by just loosening up, shaking side to side. So I'm gonna twist side to side. Two, three, four. Shoulder circles going forward. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going reverse. One, two, three. Okay, 
So, first I'm going to do Cossack squats. So, I've got a nice wide stance. I'm going to drop down to one leg. One, two. So I'm going to do a Cossack squat stretch. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to do those in our workout. So uh, I'm going to just do the stretch version to start. So I'm going to drop down just like that and ease into my stretch. You guys can see I'm already excited to get right into the warm up or into the workout that is. Oh, we'll switch sides. Then I'm forgetting to do our stretches. So drop in here. Remember this one is not just a one dimensional stretch. You can go in a lot of different angles and directions with this. All right, we'll stand up out of that. Actually, we'll stay on the mat. So I'm gonna keep one knee one knee on the mat, one knee forward, drive those hips forward, try and keep your torso and hips square. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and then we'll switch legs. Drive this hip forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Gonna drop down. Everyone's favorite. My favorite. It's becoming my favorite again. My hip was a little tight a week or two ago, but it's starting to feel good again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake it out, shake it out. I'm going to do a straddle. So, wide stance hips as open as you can. We're going to ease into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ease up out of that. Bring your legs together. Knees closed. Push straight to the ground. Do our pike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, and I'm gonna finish with pigeon or a modified pigeon. So I modified it last week. I'm gonna keep it modified this week. So, uh, and someone recently taught me an even better way to do this uh, this stretch. So I'm going to sit close to a wall. If you guys have a wall, you can push your feet on. This is a great way. Uh, if you don't have any good wall, you can just, like normal, just do uh, it on the ground. So I'll show you the version on the ground first. So uh, just bring in one foot in front of the opposite knee. And I'm going to bring both knees up towards my chest. You can grab your knee, pull it in. You should feel a big stretch in your glutes and in your hips. So that is the on the ground version. 
way we can uh, modify this is using a wall. So if I sit next, uh, close to a wall like this, I can put my feet up, I can put a foot in front of the other, and I can use the wall to push my knees to the floor. I can sneak my hips closer to the wall, get more assistance. So these are a few ways we can do this stretch. So I'm just gonna hold this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to switch. So this one, I'm going to bring my hips a little closer. Uh, the closer your hips are to the wall, the more you're going to be able to push off the wall and get a little more of this stretch going. So I'm going to try it on this side. I raise my hips up. I got my foot in front of my knee. And as I bring myself down, that crunches me into that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So that is it for our stretching. That uh, that version where you have your feet on the wall, uh, I've never seen that until recently. So always keep an open mind. You can always learn new things. Uh, I try to be an expert, but there's a million things you can learn. So never stop learning. So we're going to learn a couple new movements with this one. Uh, we've done most of these before, but I'm going to have a new way of organizing. So. We've done pyramids, climbing up, climbing down, uh, start in the middle. You know, we've done you know steps by two. We've done a number of different pyramid style challenges. So this one is, uh, I guess you could call it a pyramid. It's more like an interval. So we're going to be doing uh, high rep and then lower rep, higher rep, lower rep, higher rep. So we're going to have a bit of an interval. And I mixed up the exercises so that the higher rep exercises, you know, should be easier. The lower rep ones are going to give us more of a challenge. So uh, I'm excited to see how this workout plays out. But I think we're going to be in for a surprise. So uh, first off, we're going to do reverse bicycles. So we might have seen these before. I know we've done regular bicycles, but uh, reverse, it sounds similar. It really messes people up. It, it's can it's hard to coordinate sometimes. So. I'll show you guys a couple different views. So, uh, reverse bicycle. So a regular bicycle, I'm tucking my chin, got my knees up. I'm going to pedal my legs as if I'm pedaling a bike. So that's not too hard. Uh, take it one step up or do that reverse bicycle. So again, I'm tucking my chin, I'm engaging my core, but now I'm going in reverse so this one can be a little awkward to coordinate we're gonna do we're gonna start the hill high so we're gonna do 15 so we're gonna do 15 bicycles then we're gonna drop down to five reps and drop down to low reps five reps and why are we doing five because we're gonna do a tough exercise our next exercise we're gonna do Diamond push-ups or just very close push-ups. You don't have to do diamonds. Diamonds are quite challenging. Uh, we'll see how well I do, but uh, If you can't do diamonds, I mean they are very tough. Just bring your hands out a little wider. So uh, Instead of having them super close and touching just bring your hands out a little bit wider and you know uh, Obviously, we don't want to do wide grip push-ups, but we're going to do a little bit more narrow than a standard push-up. So we're going to do five reps, diamond push-ups. Let's see how we do. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so oh, I haven't done those in a long time. Uh, felt pretty good. Next up, we're gonna do bird dogs. So we're gonna climb ourselves back up this roller coaster. We're gonna do 10 reps. So sort of meeting in the middle, climbing up 10 reps. We're gonna do our bird dogs. So bird dogs, we're in our tabletop position, I'm extending an arm, extending a leg. One rep, then opposite side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, so climbed up the hill a little bit and go back down and do another five rep exercise. This is where I got confused earlier. We're gonna do our Cossack squats. We're gonna do the actual squats. So instead of just doing that deep stretch like I like to start off with, I'm gonna be doing the actual squat. So that's why I got a little excited. Got ahead of myself. Now we get to have fun and do them for real. So five reps on each side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right. I'm gonna get another wide stance. This time I'm dropping down to my right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, check it out. So, done high rep, low rep, medium. Now we're climbing back up where we started. High rep to finish it out. We'll do 15 reps of Russian twists. So we've done these before. We want to keep our hands together and go side to side. Uh, I'm going to try and touch the mat with uh, my hands each time. So 15 reps, Russian twists. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, all right. So we got through it. Our I'll call this the roller coaster challenge. So uh, as you can see, we're sort of riding this wave up and down, doing this roller coaster, starting high rep, going low. And we're gonna stick with this pattern for the rest of the workout. So. Uh, first off, we did our reverse bicycle, not too hard, doing a high rep, trying to get that pace, and then we'll go into our challenging exercises. So let's get started right at the top, our reverse bicycle. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 reps. All right. Next up is the hardest one, our diamond push-up. So uh, it's quite a challenging exercise. Uh, don't beat yourself up if you can't do the full hands touching diamond. We can just bring our hands out a little bit and just do a wider, you know, uh, wider than a diamond, but more narrow than our standard push up. So we'll do five of those, five diamond push ups. One, two, three, four. 
four, five. Oh, man, those are interesting. That's feel really good. I'm gonna do 10 reps now. So climbing back up, riding that wave of that roller coaster, 10 reps on our bird dogs. Getting our tabletop, stand opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Shake it out, shake it out. Going back down. Let's really call it up because we're going to a harder exercise. So going down in reps though. Five reps. Doing our Cossack squat. All right. Drop down. One. Two. Three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Getting through it. Last one. Back to our high reps. I'm gonna do Russian twists. So I'm gonna do 15 reps, Russian twists, side to side. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Went all the way to 20. So, uh, lost a little count on that one. That's all right. We can do a little extra credit. So, again, sort of riding that wave. It's sort of nice. The cardio gets a rest on the low rep sets, but they're more technical. They beat you up more. Then you can sort of let your muscles relax on the higher rep in a way, if that makes sense. So, uh, that is, you know, that's our roller coaster style workout. So, uh, I want to leave you guys with a couple cool extra, you know, tips, tidbits, uh, well, Christmas presents, if you will, uh, for things that you can do to keep yourself feeling good and strong, give yourself some challenges. So, New Year's coming around, uh, a lot of people, you know, do the New Year's resolution thing. I think it's great. Whatever time of month, year, if you want to make a commitment to make some changes, you know, quit doing some things, make a commitment to start doing more things, more working out, better eating habits, all that's great. Uh, but don't worry about New Year's resolution so much. Don't put an emphasis on the date. It's a lifestyle. You guys want to stay healthy all the time, year round. Uh, and so I think of it just the opposite. Don't worry so much about the resolution. Think about right now the holidays as a time to relax a little bit. You can eat those cookies. You can enjoy those things. Uh, but keep this in your mind. Keep working out in your mind. Uh, but have fun. It's been a rough year for everybody. So enjoy those cookies. Enjoy the holidays. I'm going to show you guys a couple extra tips, a couple little um, exercises you can do to challenge yourself over this holiday break. So, uh, challenge we've done uh, in the past, I'm gonna torture myself through it uh, for as long as I can, which isn't gonna be very long, is that impossible squat. So, 
Impossible squat challenge. Uh, I'm not great at it. I just like ran and did squats the other day. I'm probably gonna like collapse in like 30 seconds. So if I hit 30 seconds, I'll be very proud of myself. I know people uh, that put me to shame. Right here, I've been put to shame uh, with this impossible squat. So uh, <laughs> this is a very humbling for those of you mere mortals. But I'm gonna do my best. So again, what is impossible squat? It's just a horse stance. It's just a deep squat. If you guys can see me from the side, I'm just getting a wide stance squat, sitting down so that my legs are parallel and just enjoying this position. So that's our impossible squat challenge, endless squat, horse stance challenge. I'm gonna go and do my best right now to give you guys a good challenge. So I'm gonna watch this clock, it's about to start. And go. All right. So this, immediately is hard for me. So I don't know how some people can do this for like three minutes, three and a half minutes straight. It's absolutely insane. Uh, whew, let's see if I can make it 30 seconds. Whew. Getting there. All right, we made 30. I'm gonna do extra credit. We'll see if we can go to 40. Whoo, this is hard. Oh, whew, okay, 40 seconds. I'm actually glad I didn't fall over. I figured I would. Whew, that is tough. So <laughs> some of you guys will probably smoke me in this one. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys run more than I do. I'm, I like to more lift weights and let things run from me, not the other way around. But you know, I'm making a commitment to run more. So my legs are jello. So you guys that do run, You'll probably crush this out of the park. So that's a challenge for you guys. Another AMRAP challenge. Our toughest exercise today was that diamond push-up. So if you guys can do your diamond push-up, that's a great one to AMRAP. Uh, you're not going to have to climb very high up that, you know, for it to start beating you up. So that's a good AMRAP challenge for you guys. Diamond push-ups. And then more mobility stuff. So... I like that wall stretch. I'll show you guys another wall stretch. So you guys are sitting at home, you're stuck at home, it's cold out, we gotta be socially distant anyway, so we're all stuck at home. We can do a lot of good stuff just with a wall. So uh, I showed you that sort of pigeon pose stretch, pushing your foot off the wall. This one is even simpler to get into. This is a uh, middle splits stretch. So uh, the trick to this one is you wanna get your butt all the way up to the wall as close as you can. So it's a little tricky. I scooch my butt up to the wall, just like this, sit along the wall, and then I'm just gonna open my legs. So I'm gonna open my legs up as much as I can. And then gravity, is gonna just help out. So we can sit here, you know, I can try and open it extra uh, with my muscles, but I can also just relax and let gravity do the work. So, um, you know, if you're really crazy, if you're advanced, you could, you know, hang like an ankle weight or you could, uh, one of my judo senseis, he would balance books on his feet and he can get his legs all the way to the floor. So it apparently works. So. Uh, but you guys at home, if you're stuck at home, listening to music, podcast, watching a show, you can just uh, sit on the wall. Just enjoy that stretch. You know, don't have to be super heavy. I honestly don't recommend uh, adding weights to this until you're pretty advanced. Uh, but just let gravity do its thing. Just let that open your hips up. I feel this in my hamstrings. And then when we're done, just bring our legs in roll away from the wall so that's uh one of my tidbits little tricks for you guys uh to get a little extra mobility uh, on the holidays if you're just sitting around digesting that big christmas dinner you can turn it into a stretch so that's gonna be it uh for 
this fall winter program these past 15 weeks have been a lot of fun so everybody enjoy the holidays eat good stay warm i'll see you guys next year uh this is gonna be it for 2020 so till 2021 hopefully everything is a lot better next year we're gonna keep on working hard everybody stay healthy stay strong i'll see you guys next time